It is simply that our different body minds allow for different experiences. Consciousness is simply the space in which body mind and world encounter one another. Consciousness is not a thing, but a property of the world. To identify with your knowing of experience is as absurd as identifying with the space in which you stand. Your consciousness is not yourself. Here then are the five aggregates. Body, feeling, cognition, volition and consciousness. The usual suspects for our self. All we've seen arise from causes and conditions and change when the causes and conditions change. For all it applies that when this exists, that comes to be. With the arising of this, that arises. When this does not exist, that does not come to be. With the cessation of this, that ceases. We've seen each of the five aggregates is the coming together of relationships, and the aggregates themselves stand in relationship to one another. Body affects cognition, cognition affects volition, volition affects feeling, and so on. A fractal of relationships. Zoom in and you see consciousness. Zoom out and you see a person. Zoom out more and you see a planet or a galaxy. But these different things, consciousness, person, planet, galaxy, these are only different scales of one and the same phenomenon. This phenomenon is the cosmic flow of relationships, the stream of cause and effect connecting all of space-time. Interdependent arising. So. Is interdependent arising our true nature? Is it your true self? This would be a satisfying conclusion. But to identify as interdependent arising is to fall for the last desperate attempt of language to impose itself on reality. To make a thing of the emptiness of things. The Buddha himself reminds us, interdependent arising is just words. It too is a map. It is a useful raft for taking you across the river. But once you cross, you leave the raft behind.